I'm Kevin Clark. Welcome to a lecture on the death of the ball turret gunner. A great poem from World War II about uh, what took place in the minds of some of the airmen who participated in the war. It's written by Randall Jarrell, and he was trained as an airman. Uh, and uh, it's not considered an anti-patriotic poem, but it is considered a poem that provides the realism of war through a surrealistic technique. So before we discuss the poem, why don't you read along with me. The Death of the Ball Turret Gunner. From my mother's sleep, I fell into the state, and I hunched in its belly till my wet fur froze. Six miles from earth, loosed from its dream of life, I woke to black flack and the nightmare fighters. When I died, they washed me out of the turret with a hose. That last line is one of the most famous, one of the most powerful last lines in 20th century American poetry, and we'll get to that. But let's first just talk about the plot of the poem. From my mother's sleep, I fell into the state. I think that's a highly symbolic line, which indicates that he's moving from one uh, consciousness to another, and we'll come back to that. And I hunched in its belly till my wet fur froze. I think you need to know that the belly is the turret. And what was a turret? A turret was the plastic glass bubble-like device that hung from the bottom of a World War II bomber. And uh, a man would climb down into this device and be able to rotate around and fire at any uh, enemy planes that were attacking the bomber. It was considered one of the most dangerous jobs you could have in the Air Force. Many men were killed who were ball turret gunners. Needless to say, many planes were shot down as well. But the ball turret gunner uh, often didn't survive the flight. So the turret itself is a kind of symbol, and we'll talk about that in a second. Six miles from Earth, loosed from its dream of life. What you have again is the plane way up in the sky, six miles up, and the black flak, flak, F-L-A-K, whereas the indicators of how close the, uh, the missiles or bombs or any kind of thing being shot from the ground up at the plane was. And uh, at the end, the last line is self-explanatory. When I died, they washed me out of the turret with a hose. So, it's about an airman who is in a turret uh, explaining what it was like, and at the last line we realize he's dead. So, if the poem is spoken by a dead man, we have an automatic kind of uh, powerfully powerful ending. But before we get to the ending, let's talk about some of the symbols. I put a few things up here. My mother's sleep. Well, where do we sleep if we're in the mother? We sleep in the womb. So I think the poem is starting with the notion of a fetus. Before we're even children, we're the fetus in the womb, says the poem. And instead of falling out into life, being birthed into life, this particular airman feels as if he's fell into the state. Notice he capitalizes state. This could be any country. It's not just the United States. It could be any country. And the state is the equivalent, effectively, of the government. And the government, apparently, is, as you can see, contrasted with the mother. 
So what's the contrast? The womb is safe, the mother is security, the government is not safe. The government sends you to war. The government is the thing that can control you rather than nurture you. So we start off with those symbols and then we find that not only has the child soldier slipped out of the mother's womb, but it's, he has slipped into a belly, another kind of womb, which is the womb of the state or the government. is that of the government, what we find is that the fetus becomes the child, which becomes the soldier, the airman, has left the security of the mother for the kind of cold control of the government. The black flag wakes him from the dream that might be associated with life before birth in the womb and it becomes what? I woke to black flack and the nightmare fires. So the dream becomes a nightmare. The mother's sleep suggests security and it's contrasted with an unfeeling government. The last line of the poem alerts us to the fact, shockingly, that the speaker is dead and he has experienced, even in death, a kind of visceral, grotesque ending. It is, of course, ironic, an ironic contrast with that of the womb. Of course, irony in literature usually suggests uh, and a kind of opposite. So, uh, where the womb is safe and the belly of the turret is anything but safe. Where the mother is nurturing, the government is efficient, cold, and controlling. And the government leads us to war. If you notice that you move from the mother's sleep, which is a kind of good life, the dream of a good life, uh, and it's replaced by the nightmare of the entire experience. Um, so the government that authorizes war contrasts with the mother-like security of domestic life. And the state is unfeeling, again, this is not necessarily American, this is any kind of country that sends its people into war, according to this poem. Maybe wars are necessary, but the way they are managed, the poem seems to suggest, is in a heartless manner. It sends, by the way, children into war. And I think that's a key here, that the soldiers are young, they don't have the maturity of uh, the kind of wisdom that comes from older age, and they go what, from what seems like childhood into deathly adulthood. What can we say this poem means then? What does it add up to? If I had to say there was some kind of didactic message to this poem, we might suggest that war takes children out of their secure, familial consciousness and places them in a circumstance that requires acts of violence and that those acts of violence may actually be directed at that child and these are acts of violence that in any other situation would, of course, be deemed inappropriate. The poem suggests
suggests then that the war focused government is cold and efficient, but also faceless, even inhumane in the way it treats its soldiers. The last line of the poem brings this home. And listen to how it sounds. Listen to the five beats that drive this impact, this uh, visceral impact into the reader. When I died, they washed me out of the turret with a hose. Jarrell doesn't just give us wonderful images in this poem, but he is extraordinary with the rhythms of the poem. And the last line is deliberately longer than the lines preceding, so that not only is the last line horrific in what it's describing, but the beat of the last line in its length seems to suggest a kind of awful inevitability. Poem was written at the end of World War II in 1945. Uh, Jarrell was worried that this is the poem he would be remembered for. Of course, there are many poets who think, wow, if I could only be remembered for any poem I write. He wrote many other very fine poems, not only about war, but uh, in fact, this is the poem he is primarily remembered for. That's the end of this lecture on the death of the Baltimore Gunner by Randall Jarrell.